Hello students, greetings from Firebird Institute of Research and Management. Last minute preparation strategy for the upcoming Feb Mat 2023 is to be conducted by Firebird Institute of Research and Management, a free national level webinar on coming Feb 23rd, Thursday at 8 p.m. If you want to enroll for this free national level webinar, kindly enroll through the link provided in the description box. In this webinar, we are going to learn many shortcuts which is to be useful for the upcoming MAT exam in the data analysis and sufficiency part. So don't forget to join this webinar to get some knowledge about mathematical skills. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the Feb MAT question paper, the data analysis and sufficiency answers part one. Already we have provided few videos based on December MAC 2022 and Feb 2023 question paper. So let us provide you the link in the description box. You can refer it. In this video, we are going to give you an important question that was asked in the recent Feb MAC 2023 question paper. Watch this full video to learn the complete shortcuts. Now, see, this is a question based on Feb Mac 2023 question paper. Study the following two pie charts giving information about the breakup of employees working in different categories in a government department for two successive years and answer the question on that follows. See, in 2017, the total employees of the company are 42,980. Okay, so the employees, these 42,980 employees are working in different sectors like domain experts. In domain experts, 15% of the employees are working and in establishment, 27% of the employees and in finance, 22%, accounting, 20%, buying, 6% and costing, 10%. Okay, this is the split up in the case of 2017 total employees. Okay, now, let us see for 2018. In 2018, the total employees split up. Let us see. In establishment, they have given 27%, finance 21%, accounting 22%, buying 10%, and costing 11%. Okay. And also in domain expertise, under domain expertise, 15% of the employees are given. Now, let us move on to the question. See this question now. See, let me write, write the split up here. In 2017, the total employees are 42,980. Okay. And in domain expertise, 15% of the employees are working. And in establishment, 27%. And in finance, 22%. And in accounting, 20%. Buying, 6%. And in costing, 10%. In 2018, the total employees are 48,640. In domain expertise, 9%, right? And in establishment, same 27%. And in finance, 21%. And in accounting, 22%. And in buying, 10%. And costing, 11%. Now see here, the number of which of the following categories of employees has increased in 2018 as compared to 2017. See, let us see, check first buying. In case of buying, 6% of the employees are working in 2017. What is 6% of 4,298? We have to check. Okay, so we know that 10% of 4,298 is nothing but 4,298. 
Okay, if I want to take 5 percentage, it is enough. If you take half of the value, it is 2149. And 1 percentage is nothing but 429.8. You can take it as 430. So I'll get the answer as 2579. For working in uh, 2579 employees are working in 2017 under buying. Okay, in 2018, under buying 10 percentage. It is around 4864. So, when compared to 2017, in 2018, the number of employees are more. So, let us choose the option as A. Okay. So, in case of domain experts, see here it is 15 percentage and here it is 9 percentage. See, what is 15 percentage of 4,298? See, 15 percentage, if I add both the values, I will get. So, it will be about 6,400. Okay. What is 9 percentage of 4,864? It will be uh, 4,864. Uh, 640 the 9 percentage is less than 4800 so definitely there is a decrease in domain experts so definitely it is not the answer and in case of costing if you take costing 10 percentage in 2017 so in case of costing in 2017 10 percentage so 42 000, 4298 is the 10 percentage of the value and here it will be more than 4864 i know so in compared to 2017 in the case of costing also, there is an increase. So, you can choose both the option as here and so. Right? Now, let us move to the next question. Okay. Let us keep the table as it is for our uh, comparison. Now, we will move to the next question. Number of accounting employees in 2018 was approximately what percent of those in 2017? See, how many people are there in accounting in 2018? In accounting 2018, what is 20 percentage? 4,864 into 2. Okay, see, 4,000 into 2, 8,000. 800 into 2, 9,600, 9,600. 9,600 plus 128, 9,728 employees are there. Okay, plus you have to add what? Another 2 percentage. Another 2 percentage is nothing but 972.8. Okay, another 2 percentage is nothing but another. Yes. So if I add both the values, I'll get around 0, 0, and then uh, 7. 10,700. Okay, 10,700 employees are working in 2018 under accounting department. Okay. Now, here in 2017, 20 percentage of the total employees. What is 20 percentage of the total employees? So, 4,298. You just double that. If, we, if I take 4,298 as 4,300, 4,300 into 2 is 8,600. So, it is almost around 8,600. So, they are asking what percentage? See, 10,700 divided by 8,600. What percentage? They are comparing with the 2017. So, that value should be in the denominator. 0, 0 will get cancelled. Okay. So, now if I uh, I cannot cancel 107 and 86 in any table. But if I take, if I divide or see, this is more than 86, right? What is 50 percentage of 86, 43. So, 86 plus 43, I'll get around 129, but 129 percentage is not an answer. Okay. But 107, it is nearer to 129. So, my answer is definitely 125 percentage is your answer. Okay. This is how you have to solve. You cannot get the answer if you solve step by step. It will take long time. Right. Now. Now see the next question. Approximate difference in the number of employees in buying category between 2017 and 2018. So what is 6 percentage of 2017? 10 percentage I know it is 4,298. 5 percentage half of the value 2,149. And what is 1 percentage? 430. 9, 7, 2, 5, 4, 7. 
in 2017 buying category 2579 or there and in 2018 in buying category 4864 or there so what is the difference i'll get 4864 minus 2579 so if i subtract what is 14 minus 9 5 and again 15 minus 7 h so next one 7 minus 5 2 Okay, so two two eight five employees. Okay, that is the difference between the employees in buying in both the years. Okay, so these kind of questions involve calculator part. So definitely you have to practice speed max while solving the problems based on data interpretation. Then only you can solve a problem within the given time limit. Next, see the next question here. The total of which of the following pairs of employees in 2017 is really equally to accounting category employees in 2018? Which of the following pairs of employees category in 2017 is really equal to? See, if you add really, it should be equal to the same. If you see buying and costing, so in case of buying and costing, totally there are 16 percentages. Okay, if I add both the values, see in two thousand seventeen and in two thousand eighteen, it should be same. See what is sixteen percentage of two thousand seventeen? Sorry, sixteen percentage of forty two thousand ninety eight. Uh, some value you will get, but twenty one percentage of four thousand eight six forty. Definitely, it will be large. So buying and costing cannot be my answer. Then accounting and costing. If I take accounting and costing, in accounting and costing thirty percentage in two thousand seventeen. And in accounting and costing in 2018, it is around 33 percent. Definitely, I know that the total employees in 2017, in 18, has increased in from 2017. So definitely, there will be an increase. Though both won't be same. Ex domain experts and establishment. In case of domain experts and establishment, what is 15 plus 27? 37, 42 percentage. And here it is around 27 plus 9 percentage. Thirty-six percentage. So even though the percentage in two thousand seventeen is greater than two thousand eighteen, but the total number of employees present in two thousand eighteen is greater than two thousand seventeen, isn't it? So you can consider this option. Wait, we'll check all the next fourth option. So costing and domain experts. So if I take costing and domain experts in two thousand seventeen, it is around twenty-five percentage. In two thousand eighteen, it is around twenty percentage. So both you have to write. What is twenty five percentage four thousand two ninety eight? So from four thousand two ninety eight, if you want to take twenty five percentage, I'll just divide it by four. Right, one times zero twenty eight seven times eighteen sixteen four times ten thousand seven forty five. What is twenty percentage of this? It is also around ten thousand seven hundred. So both are almost equal, right? Now, if I take data, domain experts and establishment, so it is around forty-two percent. What is forty-two percentage of four thousand two ninety-eight? So four thousand two ninety-eight. If I take it as four thousand three hundred, ten percent is forty percent is into four. Okay, zero zero two one seven two double zero. And again, you have to add two percent is. So what is two percentage? Four thirty. Four thirty into three, eight sixty. Zero six zero eight one eight six zero. Okay. And here in this case, thirty six percentage. Thirty six percentage of forty eight thousand six forty. So ten percentage four thousand eight sixty four. And just do with the twenty percentage. So four thousand eight sixty four into three. Four thousand into three, twelve thousand eight hundred into three. Uh, two thousand four hundred sixteen to three, one eighty four threes are twelve. Two one five four one four five nine two zero answer. There is large difference in this case, right? So my exact answer is costing and domain experts. In costing and domain experts only. Both the val, both the pairs are same both in two thousand seventeen as well as in two thousand eighteen. Okay, now let us remove the next question.
Yes. Then, which category of employees has recorded the maximum percentage growth from 2017 to 2018? Buying, domain experts, percentage growth, buying, see, in case of buying, 6 percentage, 10 percentage. So, only only up to 4 percentage. In case of domain experts, 15, 9, it is around decrease, right? So, domain experts cannot be my answer. In case of costing, Definitely don't give you the difference. Okay, accounting 20 percentage, 22 percentage. But the major difference lies with the buying. In case of buying, here it is 6 percentage. What is 6 percentage? So, what is 5 percentage? 2, 1, 4, 9. Okay, 6 percentage, add another 430 with this. If I add another 430, I'll get 2579. Okay, and then in case of buying here, 4,864. Okay, so in case of buying, there's a large percentage in difference and increase. There's a large percentage and difference, in, right? So buying is your answer. Okay. See, now I hope you all got some ideas regarding the uh, FebMAT data interpretation analysis. So don't forget to join our free national level webinar on 23rd Thursday at 8 o'clock. Thank you all students. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. And our next video, we are going to release Mathematical Skills Part 2 questions.